Good morning, it's my birthday. Put your hand in mine. Follow me, let me waste your time. Set up the I am 38 today. Wow. Getting on a bit, Sarah. Getting on a bit. I've had what time is it now? Half past nine? Half past nine. I had the best start to the day. Um I've got two foster children with me at the moment and that means obviously getting up at seven o'clock, if not earlier. Well, actually, I get the kids up at seven o'clock, I get up much earlier. Every single morning without fail. And the best start to the day, Lara said to me last night, um, I go up with the kids first thing. So like, I woke up and just but just to know that I didn't have to get up with them and I just lay in bed until I think it was what, like quarter past eight. It was magnificent. Absolutely. <laughs> Magnificent just to be able to just lie in bed for a little bit and not have to go up for the kids. Um, it's wonderful. Best start of the day that I could have asked for, to be honest. Not entirely sure what we're going to do because the weather's naff. Um, we've just had like two or three like gloriously sunny days, like 30 degree days. And of course today it's garbage weather. So not entirely sure what well we haven't got a plan to be honest we don't know I haven't, I haven't got a plan i'm just making myself some um like tofu eggy bread like vegan eggy bread it's kind of a bit dodgy to be honest i don't really know how it's going to turn out um <laughs> but i'm making that for breakfast and we'll just i don't know i don't really know what we're gonna do we may end up just staying at home it's kind of burning kind of just going wrong but whatever here it is tofu eggy bread a mountain of ketchup and i know it's kind of weird but <laughs> lettuce i grew this lettuce myself and i'm very proud of it i'm trying to eat more greens i'm having it for breakfast let's see what it's like i mean it's a little bit burnt it's not bad actually it's all right mm, right i'm gonna enjoy this and then Gonna have a look about what we can do today. Patient down, the weather's terrible. Like it's warm, but it's pissing down. So, after a little bit of deliberation and <laughs> looking at, we were looking at like where we need to, like how far do we need to go until we get some nice weather because it is nice in some parts of the country today, but we have to drive like at least an hour and a half south to get any decent weather so we're not gonna bother i think unless we get some like we're gonna stay in i think unless somehow something magical happens outside we're just gonna stay stay in i've got my blanket steven's here we're gonna watch an episode or two of blacklist we started watching it um when we were traveling like three years ago because it was on netflix in like Malaysia or something and then we couldn't watch it when we got back home we couldn't watch it oh no we changed we, a different yeah. country didn't we like we went to Thailand or something and it wasn't on Thailand Netflix and so we never finished watching it, it was like seven seasons or something and we both love it so we're gonna why didn't we use the VPN I don't know what I don't oh, think the, the VPN the VPN didn't work with Netflix I don't think like it came up saying it looks yeah, like it you're a, using it was a paid, no, it was a paid yeah, VPN yeah I was don't it. know I, I, there was a reason why it, like, so it didn't I work VPN. yeah Netflix. I don't know. No. I don't know whether like you couldn't do it back then though. Maybe. But you can now. I'm not sure. The VPN would probably got better. Yeah, so. yeah. But we're gonna relax. Laura's making some bread in the kitchen. We're gonna. Well, I'm gonna go and get that child that's just woken up. Um, <laughs> do as much relaxing as we can do and watch an episode or two of Blacklist. Some sort of distilled alcohol. I think there's bottles of the stuff stashed everywhere. Would you like me to? For you a few fingers. Why am I here? Look at this. We have blue sky. A nice day. We're gonna get to go out. It is glorious out there now. <laughs> you wouldn't. You think it was like a different day than um, than this morning. It's the afternoon now. Um, so I think our plan is like it's got. It's a bit too late. Like with the kids having a sleep and stuff. Too late to sort of do anything major i think really so we're possibly just gonna go for a nice walk into town um get a pizza and like go to the park and uh eat a pizza in the park possibly um we're not seeing anyone uh, i don't think we're still 
not mixing with anyone at all really other than our household and obviously like fostering work stuff so it's just us lots so i think that might be our plan bit of animal crossing whilst the kids are asleep can you hear her clapping she clapping me and saying happy birthday hey sarah we're going someplace special don't ask questions just come <gasps> it's a surprise party for me do you think oh look at it Happy birthday! Ah! Mm. Now stand in front of the cake, make a wish, and blow out the candles by pressing A. Oh, okay. Oh, they're singing to me. Here's a birthday present from all of us. Oh, we spent a, p a couple of nights thinking about what you might like. I think you'll really like your present this year. Oh, what have they got me? Come on! Yes! Oh, cakes fell out! We are out and about. We've just had a lovely little walk. Our pizzas, let's have a look. Oh. oh, oh my goodness. That's the garlic bread. That's yours, Stephen. How nice do they look? Look at mine. How does it just, delicious does that look? It's vegan pesto. Look at this. Happy lockdown birthday, Sarah. Oh, oh my goodness. These are absolutely delicious. We've got guests. Well, that was lovely having um, my sister come down and we just sat and ate our pizza and had a little chat. Like, we haven't really seen each other um, since lockdown. So, <laughs> it's like, I don't know, beginning of March or whatever. Just the house was really nice, had a really nice evening. But, got back and let me show you what's happened to the bread that Lara had made. Here it is. It was just sitting in the oven rising but oops it rose a little bit too much and has gone all over the side so oh, we should have cooked it we need to sort that out <laughs> nightmare that oven can get cleaned another time it's not happening tonight at all <laughs> just not happening um i thought i would just quickly show you like what i got i am not someone and us as a family like we have moved away from buying lots of things for birthdays and we're more about doing stuff um obviously we can't really do anything at the moment um so we can't really do anything but i mean i'm honestly i'm not someone who's bothered about things i'm not really like that anymore i used to be a long time ago but i'm very kind of i wouldn't say like minimalistic but i'm just I don't want a load of stuff like clutting up my life um so i don't know if i mentioned in this video but we did get me and lara got a kind of like a birthday present to ourselves because it's her birthday in like six days or so uh we got a vitamix something that we've wanted for ages it makes sense like that, that's the type of thing that is like makes sense to have i think for birthdays things that you were like a big purchase that you want anyway um so yeah we got that and then i did just get a few little bits and pieces that i thought i would just show you so i got this are you dumber than a box of rocks game we love playing board games in this house and it's just it's just like a little quiz very quick simple we've already had a game of it it doesn't last very long at all just like a little quiz game and then i got these turnips because i've been obsessed with animal crossing during lockdown laura wanted to get me something like animal crossing -y and <laughs> turnips are a thing in animal crossing and these oh, i love these from at new year we went to uh new york for new year and then went over to washington and when we were there we were looking at like christmas ornaments because we like to sometimes like if we're away like like as a souvenir thing have a like a useful i say a useful a christmas ornament isn't a useful souvenir but like something semi kind of useful set like something from the place and we saw these ornaments and we didn't end up getting them when we were um, both in New York and when we were in Washington, when we were at like the Capitol building and things and there was all these cool 
Christmas decorations and we were looking at them and we really wanted to them but we couldn't really justify buying them because obviously we were spending a lot of money anyway at the time with things we were doing and we just couldn't justify spending the money on them. My sister got this helicopter, the Washington helicopter. I think it's like the presidential helicopter. I don't actually know, to be honest. And then this beautiful Waterford crystal ball drop from like the, the New Year in Times Square, New Year, which we did. We did spend 12 plus hours at uh, Times Square. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. It was an experience. Let me tell you, it was an experience. So yeah, we've got this beautiful crystal 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 ball to like commemorate that which is lovely and then of Stephen I love this present I um <laughs> we have some oven gloves in the kitchen that I keep burning myself on they are my mum's they were my mum's oven gloves like cat kissing oven gloves and they're like they're very old and they're not really suitable anymore and like <laughs> you burn yourself through them and I keep complaining about them but I don't want to get rid of them because they're my mum's and Stephen always says like just get some new ones I'm like but I can't it's my mum's I'm like, I'm not sure I should and so he bought me these oven gloves he said to me before I opened it, it was like you'll you kind of want it you kind of want it but you kind of don't and you'll be kind of annoyed at it I was like oh my goodness what is it and when I opened them I was like yeah that makes complete sense I need to like I need to throw away my mum's oven gloves and use these ones that actually protect my hands and then I also got a couple of Beautiful framed little pictures of the Stephen there with his cousins at one of my sister's weddings a long time ago, that maybe I don't know, 10 plus years ago. And this is of me and two of my sisters at my cousin's wedding a couple of years ago. I love this picture and I love that, see in the background there's a, a Polaroid, that's a Polaroid picture of my mum and dad at their wedding. At, at the reception they had this like tree with... Um, people from both sides of the family uh, of their family members on their wedding days and it was just so nice and so i love this picture that there's like mum and dad in the background on their wedding day and then us there three sisters and then this other little picture of the of stephen there in the middle and two cousins that is in spain where we used to go at my nan's villa a lovely day honestly it was just nice to get out after this morning and the horrible weather that it was it just looked like it was gonna piss down all day but it was so nice just to get out and have a nice little walk and it was lovely that my sister and nephews came and joined us down at the park i didn't film that because i just wanted to just like relax and enjoy the time we were there for a couple of hours or so and then came home it's been a nice birthday it's been a nice birthday thank you so much for watching and i will see you